So I do think that the future of investing in game cards has changed and people are far more negative about this idea. And the idea is a really simple one that you can retire on game cards like Alpha Investments. When he shows you his background, when he shows you all the boxes he has, and um, but that's not really money. Liquidity on old boxes is insanely hard to do at a good price because most people, most stores, most people are not going to want multiple boxes of an older set. They're simply not going to have the capital or want to really put that money in. And then the fact becomes, okay, well, what was the liquidity of this old set? Or is it a legacy? How many of them have sold in the last month? How many do you have? And are you going to tank your own market because you're going to have to, you're going to put so many on sale? Beyond that, I think it's pretty obvious that the market is not doing well right now. Um, there is a bloodbath on singles. There is a bloodbath on, and it's not just Magic the Gathering, right? We talk about Magic the Gathering, but it's a lot of other card games. Meta Zoo, Flesh and Blood is in a very interesting state. They are player based, so the fact that their cards are affordable might actually help them in the long run. I don't know. Flesh and Blood is more interesting to me now that the owners have chosen to support the players over the Rudy, right? And Rudy has undercut, um, he has absolutely undercut a lot of these local game stores, and there's no other way to say it. I mean, the business model is not the same, and it's not fair, because to say that these other local game stores have an additional burden of overhead is pretty brutal when, in fact, you know, when you think about it, he doesn't have that burden, because he doesn't offer gameplay. And in my opinion, most of these promos should be won by playing the game. It's like Magic the Gathering did it in the Odin days. You had, what was it, championship Saturdays, whatever. You can win a play mat. You can win some promos. That's the way to do it because that gets people in the store and that gets people talking about your game. And if your game doesn't have any players, it's dead. So if no one's actually playing your game... Everyone's just buying the boxes and putting them in a closet. That might look good for revenue, but when they go to sell those boxes and realize that the liquidity of a native is free boxes a month, it doesn't matter how much you think it is. <laughs> you you're not going to be able to. You're not going to be one of the free people to sell it that month because the free sales from that month will be the same guy. Now beyond. Uh, the investment portion of these card games, which I don't view any of these as investments anymore. I'm just going to view them as fun. So if I buy a card game in 2024, my mentality is it's just fun. It's like an amusement park. It's like entertainment. It's like a nice dinner. Uh, that's how I'm going to justify buying it. Um, I cannot justify it as an investment because it is not an investment. In fact, I would even go a step further in saying if it was an investment, it's been a very bad investment compared to the S&P 500, compared to a CD, basically compared to any comparable investment that people would actually put money in real estate. This is one of the most toxic assets uh, I can imagine because A, it takes up a lot of space. There is loss without insurance. Most times getting insured, your collection insured is something that most people don't do. So if there's a hurricane or a fire, good luck trying to get money back from insurance on your magic collection. Now, one other part that I really want to address here is no one should be spending $8,200 on a new card game at all. Um, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, it, these new card games, they come and go. This isn't, uh, if you remember the 1990s, there was like Jedi card games and there was, a, there was a lot of card games back then. Uh, everything was a card game. Uh, they had uh, Shaman King. I remember Shaman King card game. I used to uh, collect that. Like, If you had the magazine called Show and Jump, they would give you like a new card game. A Bleach card game. I remember the Dragon Ball Z score card game from Score. And Yuyasa had a card game. Like Literally, it was like all these animes had card games. Which is obviously reminiscent of One Piece, Disney Locana. A lot of these IPs are now... You know, Bleach has something called UA now. I don't know if you guys know. Bleach has a card game going right now. 
Uh, I, I remember the Naruto card game was really, really popular. Um, uh, really, really popular. And there, there were a lot of card games. There were a lot of card games. So, not everyone survived. In fact, most of them died. And we're seeing that right now. There are card games like Titan, TCG, the guy just straight up stole the money. For every Kickstarter card game that is at Meadow Zoo's level, there's 10 other ones that were scams or just never took off. And that's why I don't view it as an If you want to play it, enjoy it, spend a couple dollars on it, why not? But if you really want to invest in something, you have to actually understand it. You can't just watch. Alpha Investment doesn't understand MetaZoo. He doesn't know what's going on in there. Uh, he doesn't understand Flesh and Blood. In fact, Flesh and Blood content creators, specifically Fluke and Box or Fluke and something, they all know he has no idea what is playable and what's not. They all know he has no, even Fabled Hunters, like they, they know this because they understand that he, is, he has no time to play these games. And because he's not a player, he doesn't actually understand the meta or why this card is valuable, why this card is not valuable anymore. He doesn't play Magic. He doesn't have the time. Basically, what I'm saying is he is a flipper, but not a player. Uh, he's not a player. And right now, we're going into a player meta. And that's going to punish flippers. So, you just look at the games he does. Pokemon, he's probably going to do Locana soon. Uh, One Piece. Like He doesn't know any of the anime names on Weiss. He doesn't know any of them. He, when he was doing Meta Zoo, this he was trying to promote this native set. He pulls one of the most valuable cards in the set. He doesn't know, you know. Um, when he's opening magic boxes, he doesn't know what's valuable and what's not, and he's kind of cautious because people call him out in the comments so often. He just doesn't have any idea. Um, I remember one set where he didn't even know where the uh, I think it was Dominaria Collector's Boost box. He didn't even know what the Legend card was. Because he did so little research about this thing, he's going to sell hundreds of thousands of dollars worth to his patrons, and he doesn't even know the slot that the Legends card should be in. That's pretty, you know, that's pretty bad. You know, like it would take two seconds to Google it online, and then you would have a much better video. Right now, we are in a situation where people are not just going to buy shit that they don't understand. They're going to want to understand it. They're going to want to research it. They're going to want to see if there's a player base. They're going to want to play the game they're investing in. Previously, that was not it. You don't buy a $8,200 five kits of Meadow Zoo because you want to open it. You're buying it because you want to sell it for $10,000, $20,000 down the road. Uh, th those investments have all failed. Every investment that he told you to make for the last three, four years has failed. I know it has failed because I bought the mother effing investments, guys. <laughs> Even though I don't buy directly from Rudy Chan, a lot of the people who sell me are Rudy Chan Patreons, and I have all their boxes plus more. I have all their boxes. Um, I know their promo. I mean, a lot of them, the boxes, the cases are shipped with Rudy's address still on the case. That's how I know where they're coming from. Not that they wouldn't tell me, right? Of course they tell me. Anyway, hi guys.